So Damari, here we are in Marbella, a year on from last pre-season. What sort of uh, campaign has it been, you know, from then to now for you? Um, I think uh, personally, it's, it's been a good, good year. You know, I feel like I've developed in all areas, and it was core class year. But yeah, I feel like this year I'm stronger. I've been back three days now, but the few runs we've done, I felt fit. And as a team, we've improved, we've brought a few new players in, so yeah, it's looking good so far. Because in Cork, as you said, you, you caught the manager's eye, you caught everybody's eye, and that, that really was a, a, the big breakthrough for you, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, Pre-season's always a good time to prove yourself, show if you've got to get a start um, for the start of the season, which I did last year. And luckily I continued that form and that helped towards my, the season I had last season, yeah, so... Pre-season is important and hopefully I'll get off to another good start. Did you expect to have that full a season as you did in the last campaign? Play that many games, have that much publicity, do that well? Um, to be fair, I didn't. I'd done much better than I expected I would. Just being around the team, staying involved. Because it's a tough league and obviously being 18, it's hard to be consistent in that league. But both managers showed faith in me and fortunately, luckily... It's helped me learn and I'm ready for next season now. And obviously you had to deal with a lot of speculation in January. How did you, you cope with that? Yeah, obviously I've, I had uh, the right people around me. The gaffer always was in my head just telling me just focus on my football and family. That's all I did really. I just concentrated on playing because that's all I need to do. And at my age, I think it's important that I'm playing week in, week out as much as possible. Because I just need to keep learning and improving my game. So, yeah, just basically I was focused on my game. I didn't really worry about it too much. Where's the uh, match ball from your hat-trick? Yeah, I still got that um, at home in a glass frame. So I'll be keeping that, yeah. Has that sunk in? Because obviously it was an incredible feat for somebody so young. I mean, you were the third youngest ever in Birmingham's history, you know, and, and we're talking people like Trevor Francis here. Yeah, yeah it's a... Uh, Still a bit mad, like I still watch it back sometimes, but hopefully I can carry on that and do more of that next season. Mm -hmm. What are your aims then moving on to this coming season? What are, are yours and the, the team's ambitions for the, the campaign? I think last season, playing so much, I think that's helped me learn about the championship. So going into this season, I know what to expect more. And like I said, I feel like I've improved in all areas. So I think next season... I can be more effective, score more goals, more assists and help the team more, just provide more for the team. So, yeah. And as a team point of view, I think, you know, we finished 10th and I don't see why we can't push for playoffs, you know. We've got a good bunch of lads, we've got new players in, so we've got to go for it, really. What would you have to do to be consistent to, to get in and challenge for the top six? Um, obviously, it's a tough league. Every game's different. All the opposition... You know, you never know what can happen, but like we said, last year we finished 10th and I think if we stick together, we've got a good team spirit, good bunch of lads, we can definitely push push for that spot. And yourself, obviously, away with England over the summer, the yeah. Toulon tournament, another feather in the cap, that must have been a, a great experience for you. Yeah, it was different, you know, going up in age. There's a lot of good players out there from Premier League clubs and stuff, so that's good for me and that's just another bit of learning for me and it was obviously good to play games and get on, get on the um, score sheet in one of the games, so yeah. And how different is international football? What, what, what are the nuances compared to the bread and butter of the championship, say? Yeah, it's a lot, a lot different and every opposition you play against, it's always something different, so it's just good for me to be involved in that stuff because I'm still learning the game and it's just, it's, it's good standard, well. the quality is high, so for me, it's just better because I'm playing with very good players. And, yeah, it's a good learning curve again. Yeah. Just finally, you've, you'll be basically playing football for a year, won't you? How are the club managing you in that respect from a, a sort of fitness, fatigue and burnout perspective? Yeah, I, got the, um, I had an extra week off, which helped me, which I needed. So I think that's, that's helped me. And I've come back this week, I'm feeling fit and strong. So, yeah, I think that's helped a lot. And I just need to keep, keep working hard. The lads are working hard and bring it into the games that are coming up in the next few weeks. And we should be ready for the start of the season. And you're no longer an unknown quantity for defenders now. Yeah. Does that bother you? No, not at all. Obviously, I believe in my ability and I've learned 
a lot from last season, so I've just got to be positive and I'm ready to go.